Right, we're now into the realm, people, of trying to find things in here to show you that you haven't seen before because we can't go outside. I am busy attaching the eyes to Simon the Serval, and... <laughs> that is think, really the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Do you think that's, that's, that's a better angle, isn't it? Now, while I do that, Taylor has been exploring... Oh, no, man. It's under your chair. Taylor has been exploring last week with Rebecca these environs around here. Now, the environs around here are actually very attractive to tourists. And Taylor, would you like to tell us where you went on your holiday? I would absolutely love to tell you all where I went on my holiday. I had a couple of near-death experiences. So Rebecca and I went to a little town called Sabi, which is about two and a half hours from here. And uh, it was interesting. We well, went. Would you friends. just just before you describe your activities? Uh, my experience of Sabi is that it is a lamentable town. Ooh, yes, like that's a strong word. It's not beautiful, <laughs> is it? <laughs> uh, no, well, this, the, once you move away from the the, the town, and the bustle yes. of a uh, Sabi, which is about it consists of about two or three streets. Yes. Um, then it's beautiful. Then the the area is beautiful. Yes. yes. Scenery around. But the but town itself. Yes. Has, um, well, it leaves a lot to be desired, really. No. Yes. Um, All right. There's some nice restaurants there, though, I suppose. So you went kloofing, then. We went what is kloofing? Kloofing uh, is, uh, well, well, you see, we had 80 mils of rain the night before, so I, I, I suspect that this is the reason why Rebecca and I had a couple of near-death experiences. So we basically went walking down beautiful pathways into a gorge. And uh, we firemen slid down trees. Yes, exactly how that mm. sounds. We firemen slid down trees to drop down to the next level. Um, and rock falls, and then you sort of go down these mini waterfalls, I suppose you could call them. And then we were swimming. It was beautiful. It was lovely. And there were birds chirping, and everybody was happy. Rebecca and I were whoop whooping as we jumped off of things until we got to this other small waterfall. But the water was pounding down and we saw everyone going in so we followed and then everybody disappeared and it couldn't work out where they went and they went straight up they went up a cliff like that so i'm looking going okay and i couldn't breathe because the water was pounding down so hard so i had to go out and give myself a pet talk and say that i could do it went back in again and then started making my ascent up the steep cliff i think we steep cliff we Steve went, Clip. Steve Clip, my spoonerism for the day. I think we went up about 10 meters, maybe 12 meters. We climbed up this wall, dripping. I thought my nails were going to bleed. I was holding on so tight. And uh, that's where I got my little boo boo from. Your boo boo? Right, good to Let's have a boo boo oh. on my finger. It's very sore. Can we see? It's not very nice, though. <laughs> and, um, anyway, so yes, we climbed up that and then we sat on this ledge, but you almost slipped about 10 times and it was quite beautiful, the water was, was had a massage on your back and we sat there for a bit, so it was like I was in a hurricane, but the coming down part was very difficult, you had to go down, bum against the side of the cliff, mate, but now you're holding on, nails digging in again. But it was exciting. So was, was this a guided experience or were you and Rebecca guiding yourselves? If Rebecca and I had to have guided ourselves, we would still be there. Yes. We'd have to send out a search party. We probably would be very hungry. Possibly the coroner yes. as well. Yes, and the coroner, definitely. I don't know. We'd have to be helicoptered out. Really? Yes, but then we, anyway, we swam along. We survived. The, obviously, we survived. And we got to a beautiful waterfall called the Mac Mac Falls which was unbelievable. I couldn't even begin to tell you how tall the waterfall was, but we climbed up rocks about, about 20 meters or so, maybe 25 meters. Rebecca was very brave. She went all the way to the top and she jumped off. And um, I did the baby one because I'm a little bit of a sissy and I don't like heights oh, very much. I know, I've got vertigo. I stand on the edge and I have a nervous breakdown just about. So I also had to pep talk myself, and I, but I jumped off that one. And then the fun part started where we had to climb up rocks and it, because of all the rain, everything was very slippery, lots of clay in the soil. Uh, it was a lot of fun and um, I complained a lot on the way up because I was tired. So poor Rebecca had to listen to me moan about how exhausting it was going all the way to the top. But we survived and I'll probably go and do it this coming week again. 
Right, now the point of that story, of course, is uh, to show, A, that Rebecca and Taylor are very adventurous women, and the second part of that, of course, is to demonstrate to you that around this area, into the mountains, there are some really spectacular spots, and a lot of people come to the Kruger and then disappear. But if you spend a bit of time away from the Kruger and in the mountains, there are some beautiful, beautiful spots full of history and full of interesting places to go and visit, and of course, some there is the town of Pilgrim's Rest around here, which is a, which is an interesting place. It's a sort of a, it's an old mining town that they've reconstructed in the or attempted to reconstruct in its sort of original form. It's quite fun to go and see how they used to find gold in this area. They didn't find a great deal of it. Many people, um, well, cooked their geese, as it were, in and around this area. And that's all I have to say about Pilgrim's Rest. Do you have anything?